Hey guys, so I filmed this earlier, but I realized that I really didn't like it because like the camera didn't focus and whatnot, so I am refilming my, um, this is my like nighttime routine. Um, I'm not going to do like a bathroom tour yet because my bathroom's not done yet because I've been like updating it and, um, like redoing parts of it or whatever. So this is just like the stuff that I use at night, um, when I am taking off my makeup, so I'm going to, this isn't going to be in any particular order, I'll try and like tell you guys as much as I can like how, what, like in what order I use this stuff, but I'm mostly just going to show you like what I use. So um, the first thing I usually do when I'm taking off my makeup is I take off my like eye makeup and I take that off with a makeup remover and right now I've been using either this one which is one by Lancome. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I don't know how to, but it is that one by Lancome. And so I've been using either that or I use um, this one by Almay that I just got, um, which is an oil-free one. And I really like this one. It smells really good. Like, I don't know if it'll show on there what it um, smells like. I think it's like, I don't know, it's like cucumber or something, but it smells really good. So... And then all of my stuff is like organized on this little, I want to say it's like a cupcake stand that I got from like a thrift store or whatever, so there's that on there. So then I use that and then I just use like in the back there, I just use like a little cotton pad and I just take off my makeup with that. And then the next thing I do is I cleanse the rest of my face. And my favorite thing so far that I've been using is this, and it's the Boots Botanics, um, it's a skin brightening cleanser. Um, this stuff smells really, really good, and it makes my skin feel super fresh at night, and so um, that's been my favorite cleanser. And then if I'm looking for, like, a super, like, moisturizing cleanser, I will use this one here. Um, this is also by Lancome. I was given this stuff by my mom, I don't know, like, a long time ago, and so I just have this, and this is their cream radiance it's a mousse it's a cream to foam cleanser so when you put it on your skin it's like super super thick and then like if you put a little bit of water on your face it just turns into like a foam and so this stuff's really nice so if I'm feeling like super dry I'll use that and then um, if I'm feeling like my pores are really huge or I just want to like switch it up I also use this one and um, this is another one my mom gave me it's a um, the L'Oreal skin genesis pore minimizing gel cleanser and I think I saw this on another like YouTube video like back in the day and I really um, wanted to try it and then my mom just happened to give it to me and so I was really excited about it and it works really well and then after that so after I've taken off my eye makeup and cleansed my skin once or twice a week um, I started using this and this is the St. Ives it's a fresh skin it's just a scrub and it's supposed to smooth out your skin because my skin tone is like all over the place right now like it's not smooth at all and so I started using that. And then um, after that, I usually put on my night cream. Now, the one that I have, I'm going to switch hands here, is this one. And this is a, a the Boots Botanics one. The I love their line of skincare. And this is actually the day cream. And the reason that I use this one at night is because it's super, super thick. And I have, like, super oily like skin and so I don't like using a super thick cream like that during the day um, because it just feels like it's way too much on my face along with like my foundation and stuff so I actually have the light night cream um, on my for during the day and I use the daytime cream at night if that made sense so um, and I just like the night cream for the day because it's really light but it still gives me like the moisture that I need underneath my skin so I use that. And then if I need a spot treatment, this is my favorite spot treatment to use. This is a Neutrogena one. It's the Rapid Clear um, Spot Gel and this works wonders. I love this stuff. I'm almost out and I'm going to have to repurchase it soon. But this is like my best um, spot treatment gel I've ever used. It's only like, I want to say it's like under $10 at um, like Target I think is where I got it and so I use that like anywhere I have acne so whether it's like on my face or sometimes I'll get it like um, like on my collarbone or like my chest or whatever or like random places like my shoulder or whatever and I just put a little bit of it on there and um, that works really well and then um, I read somewhere when I was looking on how to grow back my eyelashes and eyebrows I read somebody said that if you put Vaseline on your eyebrows and or eyelashes it will help them grow because it like moisturizes them it darkens them a little bit I don't know if it works, but I've been using this every single day on my eyebrows, um, at least, and 
I don't know if it was just because I left them alone or whether I used this stuff, but they totally grew back. And so every night after my skin is cleansed and everything, just before I crawl into bed, I put a layer of this on my eyebrows. And so I and just now started using it on my eyelashes since they're starting to grow back. And then the other one I use is the Vaseline. This is their Lip Therapy um, Cocoa Butter for Soft Glowing Lips. I don't think that's going to focus very well. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but anyways, I use that on my lips. And then this stuff here, I don't use this very often. This is the Josie Moran Argan Oil that I got in my, I want to say my Ipsy bag. And I don't really like using that on my face because my face is oily enough as it is. And so I feel like that's kind of kind of productive putting it on my face. And like somebody said it was okay to use on oily skin and I used it. And like it's alright, but it's not my favorite. So um, anyways, and then off to the side here I have, these are when I don't use a like um, a uh, makeup remover that is like an oil or like a liquid. I use these and these are just ones from Target. These are their up and up brand. Um, these are a 10 count. You get these in the travel section for a dollar or less than dollars, like 99 cents. But anyways, and so you buy three of these. It's three bucks and these are like the greatest thing ever. I've never used it says compared to the Pond's Clean Sweep. I've never used the Pond's ones, but I like these just fine. And they're like so cheap. It's like 99 cents, you know. So it's like great. And then I saw, this is kind of random, but like I saw this toothpaste in a video. This is the Crest 3D White glamorous white and I saw this in a video and I you know I don't know like I don't remember who it was but they really liked it and so I saw this in the store and I was like well I really want glamorous white teeth so maybe I will use that and I don't know if my teeth are glamorous white but yeah the toothpaste works pretty well I guess and so then the only other thing I have over here is I picked this up yesterday this is the method um, pink grapefruit um, hand soap method makes really great like organic soaps and so I really like their line of stuff. Um, these actually if you get like the unscented or original one are really great to use on like washing your makeup brushes and I think someday here pretty soon I'll do a video on how I wash my brushes and uh, I probably won't use this one on there I'm not sure but um, this is really great stuff to use. And then I have a little heart shaped jasmine soap here and then the other thing is I bought this cupcake thing at Walmart and it just has soap in it like hand soap it smells like well this is supposed to smell like chocolate something or other like chocolate macaroons or something like that and it like just smells kind of like faint chocolate I don't know it's like not the greatest but it's hand soap so whatever. And that is pretty much it for that. That's pretty much my night routine. So take off my makeup with my makeup remover, cleanse my skin, and then I use my moisturizer and the Vaseline on there, and that work has worked pretty well for me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know this isn't like one of those super like exciting videos, but that's just what I use at night. So um, tomorrow I'm going to do a daytime, like I what I prep my skin or start off during the day and then I'm also going to do a um, video for my like um, oh my goodness what am I trying to say here the Revlon Color Stay Foundation versus the Revlon Nearly Naked because I just picked that up and I'm so excited to film that because I have some super great news about that so anyways that's pretty much it and I will see you guys tomorrow bye